This video is about single fact analysis of variance with repeated measures. And we start right away with the first question. What is repeated measures analysis of variance? Repeated measures analysis of variance tests whether there are statistically significant differences among three or more dependent samples. So what are dependent samples? In a dependent sample, the measured values are linked. For example, if a sample is drawn of people who have a knee surgery, if these people are asked before the surgery and one week and two weeks after the surgery, we call it a dependent sample. This is the case because the same person was surveyed at several points in time. Therefore, the one-factor analysis of variance with repeated measures is the extension of the t-test for dependent samples for more than two groups. In the t-test for dependent samples, we test whether there is a difference between two dependent groups. If we want to test whether there is a difference between more than two dependent groups, we use the analysis of variance with repeated measures. When there are three or more independent samples, analysis of variance without repeated measures is used. If you want to know more about it, feel free to watch my video for analysis of variance without repeated measures. But be careful, of course the assumptions have to be checked first. More about this later. So what is the research question in a repeated measures analysis of variance? The research question could be, is there a significant difference between the dependent groups in terms of the mean? But let's look at an example now. You might be interested to know whether a therapy after a slipped disc has an influence on the patient's perception of pain. For this purpose, you measure the pain perception before the therapy, in the middle of the therapy and at the end of the therapy. Now you want to know if there is a difference between the points in time. So in this case, your independent variable is time or therapy progressing over time. Your dependent variable is the pain perception. You now have a history of the pain perception of each person over time. And now you want to know whether the therapy has an influence on the pain perception or not. Simplified, in the first case, the therapy has an influence and in the second case, the therapy has no influence on the pain perception. In the progression of time, the pain perception does not change here. In this case, it does. Now we have a good transition to the hypotheses. In the analysis of variance with repeated measures, the null hypothesis is there are no significant differences between the dependent groups. And the alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference between the dependent groups. This brings us to the assumption of analysis of variance with repeated measures. And finally, I will show you how you can easily calculate it online. So what are the assumptions? The first assumption is that we must have dependent samples. The next assumption is that the data should be approximately normally distributed and should have a matrix scale level. And finally, the variance in each group should be equal. Now I will show you how you can easily calculate an analysis of variance with repeated measures online. Just visit the statistics calculator on datadep.net and copy your own data into the table here. Then you click on this tab. Now I just have to select your variables. If you select three or more metric variables, an analysis of variance with repeated measures will be calculated automatically. And you get the results. Here you can read the p-value. If you don't know exactly how to interpret the results, just read the interpretation of the results in words. In addition, the results are shown in a box plot. Finally, the Bonferroni post hoc test is calculated. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.